Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mike Rich, man. What's happening with y'all today? Hope everybody, let me get that right. Hope everybody, each and every last one of y'all is having a blessed day to day, man. Hope y'all having a good one. As some of y'all may have seen on the last video, like previously on Mike Rich, he talking about on the last video, I was up in the mountains. LJ, North Georgia mountains uh, with my wife, bunch of friends, man, and they wise, man. We had a great time getting away, getting up in that mountain air, uh, being able to just, you know what I'm saying, just relax and take a load off. Let your hair down. You feel me? Uh, and I got to hang out with T Ward, man, so that was good too. Shout out to T Ward and shout out to everybody who checked that video out. Uh, while we was out there, though, I was able to go to the Woodstock. Outlets, the Nike outlets. I only vlog probably like five minutes of footage, but I still want to go ahead and put it up and let y'all see what I found in the outlets and what was going on in there. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, this is a short but sweet outlet vlog. I appreciate everybody for joining me today. Real quick before I go to the outlet vlog, shout out to Tally and Twine once again. Timepiece looking amazing. Inception, look at the blue band. Bobby Blue Band on they ass. Hey, you talking about shot the uh, Italian twine for the timepiece. I already had this uh, piece actually. I had this piece for a while, but they sent me the uh, Blue Band going, and you got to switch it up, gang, going crazy. Shot the Italian twine, like I said. Black owned and operated businesses are flourishing, man. Hell is you saying? Anyway, let's go ahead and get into the outlet portion of the video, and I'll see y'all back in a minute. Do it. They got the little bronze. I always make it to the outlet. Like I said, every LeBron is gonna make it to the outlet. Nike is the like second home. Nike outlets is the second home for LeBrons every time they drop. That's some dope little MAT 95 guy right here. Oh man. Look at that. This is a very different looking pair of MAT Play. Never seen that before. They actually not that bad. Hey, you know what I mean? MAT Play guy. I promise you, buddy, brown suede be everywhere. You've been to the outlet in the last two years, but you're going to see you pair a brown suede uh, F11 mids. You're going to see them, Shotty. Got the legacy, guys. Buddy track, buddy track, and water. Oof. Get you some. I promise you, they done did every iteration of this shoe, bro. This one ain't even got the elephant print. They actually put patent leather in the place where the elephant print would usually be. Oof. Man. Can't do it, Rich Nation. Hot tread can water sweltering. What are you talking about? <laughs> Got the uh MX 95 uh N7s, I believe these were. Got that guy. Got some of the Zoom flights, aka Tron Legacy. <laughs> Looking guys here. Got a nice gigantic pair of Air Jordan nothings. Air Jordan nothing, you know. So Air Jordan nothing rundown, bro. This is the Jordan Flight Origin 4. Nothings. This one right here is the Air Jordan, uh, Jordan Air. I don't even say Air Jordan. It says Jordan Air Cadence. Whew. Nothings. Jordan Access. You have access to nothing. Another Jordan Access. Uh, Jordan Max Aura. Nothings. Jordan Max Aura. Uh, then we got LeBron. So yeah, very, 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 very. Uh, nice quality of Air Jordan Nothings. Price is 114. Let's see, 114, 94, uh, 69, 79. You know, just in case y'all people gonna try to get at me and be like, stop talking about Jordan Nothings, man. Bruh, I'm gonna get on Jordan Nothings. Bro. I don't care who. If you buy them and you happy with your Jordan Nothings, be happy. You know what I'm saying? But I know if I'm gonna spend $114 on a pair of shoes, it ain't gonna be no Nothings. I give myself a one, man. That's just me. It ain't got to be y'all, it's just me. Got 11s, size 10, women Jordan, 11. Forgot they call these Blue Crush or whatever the hell they call these. Remind me of the Jitas. Got the velvet blue going. Retail price, they want retail for them. Like I said, size women's 10, so that's what? Eight and a half men's. Clean, man, that's a clean shoe. I wish the whole shoe would have been that regular blue suede instead of that velvet ash, but Still clean, man. I ain't mad at them at all, bro. Oh, they also got <laughs> these already. Well, that's a surprise. 
This is a size 11. Lucky Green Tools on deck. Got here a little bit too late. I'm gonna put the camera over here and they stuff right quick. But they did have uh, the Aqua Fives and the uh, True Blue Jordan 1s in here already. Also, they got the uh, Gore-Tex Jordan 1s in there. So, they had some stuff. Y'all said they had more than this earlier, right? Yeah. They had more than this earlier, so. They also got another nine and a half in the Lucky Green Jordan 2s. Come around to this side. Dirty denims. I need these back in the collection after mm -hmm. I didn't I didn't get past the final boss FedEx. But uh this is not my size, this is a size 10, I think. Ten and a half. So that's a size ten and a half. These orange joints in here. The size women's nine. My wife can wear these. I don't know if she likes them, but I'm gonna see if she might want a pair of these. For the wife, these are size, pretty much. Um, what else? Got some dunks, dunk highs, but Jordan, nothing action going on. Some Air Max. Uh, got them fat bottom, fat bottom Jordan 1 low. And they got a Jordan 1 low uh, IEs right here. Outlet. They want retail, don't they? Yeah, it's at 185. Yeah, they want retail. Like, can't do it. You feel me? So I talked to the wife and I guess she didn't want them. I don't know. We got some Jordan 13s up here for the kids. Uh, they still want 150. That's pretty much retail, I would think, but got those. And them baby stompers. What are you talking about? Yeah, I'm at 90s right here, bro. I have not seen these before. They got the leopard skin, the alligator skin, got the zebra going on. I have y'all seen these 90 before? Comment below. I want to say I like them, but I don't want to say I like them at the same time. I don't really like them at 90s. I ain't crazy about 90s. What is this? The, the, the carnage joints or something? Like that? I don't know. Y'all come and let me know. Yeah, man. The Animal Air Max 90s was crazy. The Animal Print Air Max 90s was... I ain't never seen that shoe before. I was on the fence whether I liked them guys or not. Uh, I probably would not wear them if I bought them. So, y'all come below and tell me what y'all think of that shoe. Where did the motivation and the inspiration for that shoe come from, if y'all know. Uh, also, I mean, a lot of stuff was probably returns. I heard that before I got there, it was a whole lot more pairs of uh, Aqua 5s. A whole lot more pairs of um, the the true, true blue Jordan 1s. It was a lot more pairs of dunks. They even had dunk lows and stuff like that. It was some guys standing there in, like, standing around those shoes where I was at. And the dudes, yeah, because I was actually recording their shoes because they were about to buy them. And they said it was like, it was like a bunch of stuff. They said they had been up a couple of hours before that and they picked up some stuff and they came back and got some more stuff. So, um, they had some stuff out there. would have been there earlier. I probably would have got to see, see more. The actual, but the thing about it is just, it was still retail. Because when I saw the True Blue, um, Jordan 1s that the old boy had, it was a size 12. I was, at first I was like, dang man, that's my size. But we, you automatically think I'm at the outlet, so it's going to be a deal. But no, nah, they were selling those for retail. That's probably why they had more than one pairs. Probably got shipped from somewhere that didn't sell out and sent to the Nike outlets at retail. And mentally, you think you're seeing something at a Nike outlet, even if you're paying retail, you think, I got it from the outlet. I can get some kind of percentage. And a lot of times, if you have a Nike account, you can get some kind of extra percentage off. So, it still means finding the shoes in the Nike outlet, even if they retail price, it's, it still can work out better than finding them like in the mall or something like that. You know what I'm saying? But um, just by thinking that way, I was like, wait a minute, these retail, I don't, I don't need them. I could have gotten them for retail a hundred times already. But it was, a, it was some decent stuff in there. And of course, it was no shortage of Air Jordan nothings, man. You feel me? Now, what I will say, people always... Not always. I always get one or two people that don't really get the jokes. I'm playing around. I'm joking around talking about Air Jordan nothing. It's no disrespect to anybody who want to wear those shoes. And it's also no disrespect to people who, those people who say, well, those shoes, they make those shoes for people that want to still wear Jordans but um, can't afford them. The thing about that is if you can afford those nothings, you can afford some... Oh, and it's just to me where I come from in my sneaker mind. I wear, rather wear a pair of Air Force Ones. I rather wear a pair of New Balance, some nice uh, classic looking New Balance. I like to wear 
I'd rather pair wear I'd rather pair wear a pair of shell toe Adidas and I don't even wear uh shell toes. I'd rather wear any of that than to wear a pair of Air Jordan nothings because it, it seems like the con uh consolation prize. Now I can see if you rock some mids. I ain't mad at you if you rock a pair of mids. I'm not mad. Matter of fact, whatever you spend your money on, I don't care. I'm not mad at you over what you decide to spend your money on. I just know if you trying to get into the sneaker game and you ain't got the bread to be buying all these 200 and plus dollar retros, I feel like you should start with, you know, it's fashionable. It's a lot of fashionable shoes that's $110, $115, and you don't have to wear Air Jordan nothings, man. I'm just letting, for the people, if you want to wear those shoes and you really like Team Jordans, hey, I ain't got nothing to say to you. And you gotta always remember, these things are just my opinion. My opinion don't have to matter to nobody, you feel me? Cause I always get, at least, and like I said, I don't, I shouldn't even spend as much time talking about this, cause there's always just one or two comments of somebody saying, man, that's for the people back, everybody can't afford joints. But yeah, but if you can afford Jordan nothing, you can afford dope, fashionable shoes, because those shoes are still, most of the time, over $100. Unless they go to the outlet and you see them for like $69, $79, like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Y'all. Y'all tell me what y'all think. That's my spiel on it. Like I said, I don't never go into a YouTube video saying I'm trying to offend nobody. I don't, I'm not. I go into a YouTube video saying I'm going to say what's on my mind, my opinion, and just put my opinion out there. Shout out to everybody got opinions. You feel me? They don't make them right. They, that's why they call it opinions. You know what I'm talking about? Anyway... I appreciate y'all for watching this video. Comment below what you think of the little short outlet vlog, man. Action going on. Y'all hit the thumbs up, like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Hit the notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation. Stand all the way up to the moon on them. Head as you talking about. And keep watching my video because that's what I'm here for. Gone. Call up the plug, hit me a lick. Early kids from Retro Rick. New air bubble like helium lift. So as to bless, thank God for the gift. Yeah, yeah, it's a hit. Premium fit. No barbecue, but this is it. Hold up, rock, rock, just might hit. With riches, kicks. I mean, my rich. Yeah, balling all the way to the moon on them. Space Jam going on the tune on them. Sweeping y'all haters, get the broom on them. New heat coming real soon on them. My rich fans, shout that's what I got to give for. Thank you for watching these vids, that's what I'm here for. Gone. All the way up to the moon on them. Moon What's happening there, buddy? Yeah. Life so lighty, daddy. Bless. Hit that Nike snow just like your girl hit Hobby Lobby. Yeah. Then we fly to Abu Dhabi, then we gone straight up to the moon on them. Hey. Hey.